rising up from deserts, tropical rainforests, temperate woodlands, and possibly your local park. Termite mounds and nests are found on almost every continent. Some species of termites build nests underground, and other species build huge above-ground mounds. These mounds can stretch to 80 feet across and 30 feet high, taller than a two-story house. They are very strong structures made from mud, digested wood, saliva and feces. There are so many termites spread across the continents that the total weight of all the termites in the world is many times more than the total weight of all the humans in the world. But it is a good thing that we have so many termites in our world because they play an important role in decomposing huge amounts of decaying wood and plants. Without termites, our world would be a lot messier. The only problem is, termites can cause a lot of destruction when they live by humans. Homes and objects made with wood can be destroyed quickly by termites. They are known as silent destroyers because they can chew through walls and floors without being detected until a lot of damage is done. Each year, termites cause billions of dollars in damage to buildings. Termites are busy little creatures. They never stop eating or working. They eat 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Could you imagine working every hour of every day without rest? Termites live in colonies. They work together as a group to raise their young and do their work. All termites have certain jobs. Worker termites are in charge of building and maintaining the mounds and foraging for food. Soldier termites protect the mounds. They remain at the entrance of the mounds and try to keep away enemies such as ants using their sharp, hook-like mandibles. If they detect danger, they kick the walls of the colony. This creates vibrations that warn the termites inside. In spite of these warnings, termites are not always safe. Animals such as anteaters and aardvarks love termites. Birds and large bugs eat termites too. And in some parts of the world, people eat termites as a good source of protein. Some people even think termites are a special treat. Special workers and soldiers care for the eggs and young. Worker and soldier termites are male and female, but they have no children and they have no wings. Most termites have wings that they eventually shed. Both workers and soldiers are almost completely blind. They don't really need to see because they spend most of their lives in the dark. They don't like sunlight, so they usually travel in mud tubes and live underground, in mounds or in nests made in trees. However, king and queen termites can see because they need to find a mating partner. Female termite queens are quite fascinating. During her lifespan of 25 to 50 years, a female queen termite will lay an egg about every three seconds, thus producing nearly 30,000 eggs in a day. Because of all these eggs, termite mounds can grow fast and become very large. Some termite mounds can hold over 3 million termites. If the king or queen dies, a young termite will develop into the queen or king. Termites are amazing architects. Because they live in such large colonies, termites must create mounds that maintain the correct levels of moisture and temperature. The termites carefully create air channels throughout the mound that allow proper ventilation and circulation of air. It can take a colony four to five years to completely build out their mound. However, one good rainstorm can cause a mound to collapse. Termites are constantly working to rebuild their mounds as fast as the weather damages them. Humans, including engineers and architects, have studied termite mounds for years, trying to understand and learn building techniques from these efficient, 
tiny insects.